Hello guys, welcome to another episode of me watching you two live performances for the first time. And we're gonna get right into it. We are starting off with Lemon, live from the Zoo TV tour, which was highly recommended by those of you who know how much I love the song. Let's get into it. Already, what I'm seeing is making me very sad that I'm not watching this full show to know the context of what's going on. But fear not, the day will come when I watch their shows in full. Don't know when, but the day will come. Thank you for calling Texas Australia. Hello? My name is Mr. McFister. I'm looking for a taxi to take me from Sydney right, for Boston. Okay, so what is your name? What is your name? Hello? My name is Mr. McFisto. Hello? Hello, what is your name? Hello? was so eerie. Oh my gosh. Okay, so far, band, obviously, incredible. Bono's vocals, obviously, incredible. The harmonies, obviously, incredible. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I am so pleased with the way this audio is mixed because the vocals are louder than everything else. Nothing's being drowned out, and I'm so glad. I am so glad. All right, let's continue. That money on the floor? Well, the floor of the stage. Come 
the show The man makes a picture A moving picture Through light projected He can't see himself up close There's no sleeping there He turns his money into She's a donation She is the dreamer She's imagination She won't ever projected He can't see himself alone I don't know why, but that part just gave me goosebumps. Midnight is where the day begins. Midnight is where the day I was not prepared for that to end so abruptly, but... <laughs> Alright, next up we have The Unforgettable Fire, live from Paris in 1987. In regards to Lemon, that exceeded my expectations. I wasn't expecting there to be so much theater going on, but as a theater kid, I very much appreciated it. Like I said, I cannot wait to watch the show in full so I can have a better understanding of what's going on. Well, that and listening to the full albums. But even though I didn't have a clue what was going on with the storyline, I very much enjoyed that clip. There's just something about that song sonically that moves me in a way that I cannot explain. And also, I don't think I will ever be able to shake that visual of Bono staring directly into my soul. <laughs> but to be honest, I don't think I want to. All right, let's get into it. Love the hat. To the unforgettable fire. I mean, I already love this song, but this live performance is already topping it. Oh my gosh, the intensity. Our sounds incredible.
edge once again giving me goosebumps does he do that my throat hurts just listening to him another favorite u2 song of mine where the live performance has only strengthened my love for it. There were several times during that performance where I wanted to pause and ask why they were dressed like pirates at Coachella, and then I remembered Joshua Tree. The guitar moments during that performance were definitely a highlight for me, as well as Bono going off at the end. He sings so passionately sometimes that it sounds like he's not even trying to sing well, and yet he still maintains his pitch so well. That's probably a weird compliment, but I think you guys understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> All right, next up we have this 2018 live performance of The Fly. Okay, these graphics are tripping me out. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Seeing this recent performance just reminded me. I am so, so excited to see the clips. Well, hopefully there will be clips from their upcoming performances at the Las Vegas Sphere later this year. I've been following the construction of that venue and I don't live anywhere near Nevada, <laughs> so I'm not able to attend, but as a new fan, I'm just so excited. Is anyone else excited? I am. That's awesome.
never not be impressed by their ability to sing over each other and not be off in any way, shape, or form. Wow. What an outro. Okay, lastly, we have this 1997 live performance of Discotech. But before we get into that, I stand by my opinion on the fly, which is that in terms of production, it's one of the coolest songs I have ever heard. And I remember being very curious as to how that song would translate in a live setting. They came with the energy that song requires. And I think I enjoyed that performance even more because the instrumentation was at the forefront. Watching them play live allowed me to appreciate the instrumentation even more. And just like with Bono staring into my soul during the Lemon performance, I don't think I will ever shake the feeling that outro The Fly gave me. Alright, let's head to the discotheque. They just come out of a giant disco ball. Oh my gosh. Circulate, regulate, oh no. You cannot connect it. You know each you and Bubba gone. You know what that is, but you still want some. You just can't get enough of that love that dub has done.
loving those breathy vocals. I'm not going to lie, the Edges Ensemble is uh, giving me 33.3% car salesman, 33.3% cowboy, and 33.3% stripper. It's a brutal combination, but of course he's managing to pull it off. I don't know how, but he is. Bono, sir, calm down with the breathy vocals and the moaning. I'm not saying it's kind of hot and doing something to me, but I'm not not saying that. I'll leave it there. Okay, listen guys, I try not to be vulgar, but I'm genuinely wondering if Bono needs to change his pants. There will be no further speculation on my part, but wow, okay. <laughs> Gosh, there are so many vibrant colors going on. <laughs> My eyes are overwhelmed. Once again, I stepped into a U2 show without context, and as unfortunate as that is for me, I still had a lot of fun. What's so wild to me is that I feel like I just watched four different bands perform, and at the same time, I feel like I just watched you 2 perform four times. Obviously, I'm taking into account that those were all different eras, 
But that's pretty much the point I'm making. From what I've observed, when they go for a different era, they really commit to it, and they don't care about switching things up completely, which I so, so appreciate. I think my two favorite performances out of this group would have to be The Unforgettable Fire and Discotech. As much as I enjoyed all four performances, those two in particular had several moments that blew my mind. Guys, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe for more. I love you all and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>